What's going on guys? Babs here. Gonna do a talk through. Trying to get some ready goes in here. Uh, I think JC on YouTube asked that I do a talk through. So I'm gonna do one of uh, the new course here. 1K ready go. Uh, first hole, just find the fairway. It is slightly narrow. And you can still get out of it in 25, 30, 40 rough. Just, uh, you know, if you can find the fairway, put yourself in a good position to start strong. Gotta check my settings. Not bad. That misting, I don't know. That 64 wedge is kind of a pain. But, oh, we got 14 greens. Okay. I like faster green because it, it allows me to use my imagination to use the dots to my advantage. Sometimes slower greens for a dot counter, it's just harder to anticipate if it's going to move at all because... I'm used to playing on faster greens. So here we got oh slight tailwind about a little over two and a half grids of aim, 120 to the yard, looking at a nine iron. Usually my divisors for tailwinds are 260, and for headwinds it's 180. If it's a stronger headwind, I might drop it down, you know, to a lower number, 160, 150. But it also depends on uh, how I'm misting that day. Um, hmm. This is a good win and bad win, especially on 14 greens. The ball likes to, to skip on this hole. So let's see if we can't land it slightly short. No heartbeat. Oh, wow. It carried the distance. Wow, okay. Uh... I guess I got that win wrong. I need to look at a different camera angle. This hole with the wind, I was still trying to figure it out. Hmm. I even took three yards off that hole, but I still got the wind wrong. I might need to use the back pin. No turn. <laughs> Dead straight. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Good example of what can happen on a tailwind. The ball will, uh, the ball will hit the green and, and take off. Uh, this hole, you don't want to shoot the fairway through and through. If you have a headwind trying to go over that first bunker, be careful because sometimes you can get short drivered and it'll come up short. Again, this is just a choke down 64 wedge. You'll see that most of the greens on PGA are relatively flat, but there are some hidden dot movements that you want to be careful of. about 208 yards five and a half grids of aim and 95 percent there we go so i want to land below before in front of the hole not behind the hole because 
if you go behind the hole, um, there's a big decline. It's kind of shaped like a bowl. Um, sort of like Chambers Bay number 17. And you'll just have a pretty nasty uphill putt. This is one of those deceptive dot type of things where it doesn't look like it's moving much, but it is. Oh, beautiful win. Then again, 477 yards on a par five is, might as well be a crime. I'm just going to play this as a full tail, 116 yards, got a half spin pitching wedge. Should be a good number. If I can grab the meter. There we go. A little ram it in. Uh, for this hole, on a tailwind, I take two yards off. Um, because it's shaped kind of like, uh, basically like a trough. And I want to land it in the middle of that trough. If I land it too short, It'll kick forward. So I want to throw it long on the flat part, and that way the ball doesn't release anywhere. Um, that was just, that ended up being a fairly strong tailwind. Good birdie. On this hole, if you have a straight tailwind, you can hit a punch driver, and I've yet to see that go in the water. Uh, otherwise, just keep in mind that, you know, the driver will carry like that, and you don't want to go in the rough trying to hit into this green. Uh, let's see. Could hit a half spin pitching wedge, but again, like I said, I don't like the pitching wedge, so I'm going to go with a 9-iron. A little more reliable. There we go. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely go a choke down 9 over a full pitching wedge, because I, sometimes I just can't tell what that pitching wedge is going to do. Good win. Uh, I'm already thinking punch from the fairway with this win. It's actually a good punch win. Let's see what our number is. Uh, yeah, good seven iron punch would do the trick here. Slightly aiming a little less than a full shot. Hit and stick. Decreases wind effect. Cuts through the wind. You can aim less. Uh, punch is a great tool from the fairway. Good. Oh, God. Good front nine. We get rewarded with this ugly headwind. <laughs> Yikes. Just gonna hit a flat shot, no reason to even think about rolling on the green. Just, uh, like I've said before, good round going, just gonna punch it in. Why make a mistake hitting it in the bunker or something else? About 69% would be a good punch. There we go. <clears throat> I 
unfortunate headwind there, but we'll just keep pushing. Good wind here, should be a sandwich. Could hit a punch, but with this tailwind, I don't want it to skip, so I'm gonna hit a backspin sandwich. That way it'll bite a little. A little more power. There you go. Oh. <laughs> wow. Maybe a little too much back then. That was close. So the idea behind that shot is, you know, a punch, I could make a punch work, but with a tailwind, the ball would be flying lower, thus it'll skip more, and I want to mitigate that skip. So I put some spin on the sand wedge, turned out good. Uh, it's be a full six iron. I didn't want to ding it. Damn. Good yardage. That's a, a case of a situation where you ding it and you don't want to ding it. And yeah, I did not want to ding that shot. Counting those middle dots because those look like the average of everything. Should feed towards the hole. There we go. So just to, to go back on that previous shot with the ding, uh, depending on how I'm feeling the day with my missed dings, I will modify my aim strategy based on the missed ding. So that's why I wanted to miss ding early on that shot, but unfortunate. Got the putt. Uh, this here would be a good punch number. 126 yards would be a decent full eight iron. So once you dial that punch shot in, it is a, a very reliable shot. Especially for a high spinning ball like the 87. It's a, it's a very reliable shot. You still get the bite of the 87 for the most part, but you take away a lot of the wind effect that the game produces on a high spinning ball. Oh, like that. See, that blew a lot, but we made it work. Four grids of aim, I have 147 yards. See, again, that, that late misting, you know, do I plan the misting that much? No, I just want a misting on that side. And if my timing is good, it'll work out for me. Uh, headwind, off spin, shot here. Go with five iron, just to mitigate spin. 189 yards. Again, reducing spin on a shot also cuts through the wind. So, different tools, punch from the fairway, half spin from the tee. Two types of game strategies to put in your repertoire. Uh, with this fairway, just 
don't go off the end of it. I think I mentioned in one of my streams, I almost did that without checking the cameras. 64, 20, 152 yards to the flag. Too much. Oh, wow. I uh, guess that was more tailwind than I calculated. A little too much protein shake on that shot. So when you see a green like this not doing much, check the vertical dots like that. And they'll give you some idea of the influence that the vertical slope is having. me to make the putt. Another headwind, so another off spin shot, looking like a four iron. 200 yards to the flag. Early misting if we can. There we go. Good shot. Been a strong. Oh Lord. Uh, I don't know if this is a good win or a bad win. I've yet to figure out this hole. If anybody has any ideas on this hole, I'd love to hear them because I've yet to figure out which camera angle is correct. This looks like a dead tailwind. That looks like a dead tailwind. That is not, oh my God, that camera angle. <laughs> looks like he's in the helicopter flying around and he just decided to take a picture from the worst angle possible. Uh, we'll see what happens. God. 191, so maybe it, was a straight win. Maybe the maybe camera three wasn't the right camera angle. Hmm. Okay. One day I'll figure out that hole. Uh, that doesn't look right. That looks too high. First couple of grids aren't moving much. This view looks better. That's right there. I'm gonna count with those. 12.3 seconds. About 57% aim on the grid. 58%. Oh. Ah. Good try. Good try. So. 53, good round for the 1K. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if y'all have any questions, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.